Welcome to the Step 1 of You Study Guide, and in this lesson, we learn about ornithine transcarbamylase deficiency, the amino acid derivatives, and specifically, the catecholamine synthesis and tyrosine catabolism. A deficiency in any one of the enzymes involved in the urea cycle can keep the body from being able to metabolize ammonia into urea where it can be excreted. This leads to hyperammonemia. The most common enzyme deficiency that causes this is a deficiency in ornithine transcarbamylase. It is an X-linked recessive disorder. Instead of carbamoyl phosphate joining with ornithine to make citrulline, carbamoyl phosphate will join with aspartate to create orotic acid, which is used in pyrimidine synthesis. Patients with this deficiency are found with high levels of erotic acid in the urine and blood. Decreased levels of blood urea nitrogen with symptoms of hyperammonemia. However, it's not the same as erotic acid urea. Erotic acid urea presents with megaloblastic anemia and a deficiency in ornithine transcarbamylase does not. For the amino acid derivatives, let's start with phenylalanine. Using an enzyme with a cofactor, tetrahydrobiopterin, or BH4 for short, it is turned into tyrosine. This can become thyroxine, the hormone produced by the thyroid gland, or by using another enzyme with the cofactor BH4, DOPA can be made, the precursor to melanin and dopamine. With vitamin C, norepinephrine can be synthesized, then with S-adenosylmethionine, or SAM, epinephrine can be made. Next. Tryptophan can be turned into niacin or vitamin B3. The enzyme requires B2 and B6. The niacin can then go on to become NAD+, or NADP+. Tryptophan can be used to make the neurotransmitter serotonin. This enzyme requires B6 and BH4. Serotonin may also be turned into melatonin. Histidine can become, with vitamin B6, histamine. Glycine, with B6, can become porphyrin, and then heme. Glutamate can become GABA with B6 or glutathione. And finally, arginine can become creatine, urea, or nitric oxide with BH4. Now let's examine specifically the catecholamine synthesis slash tyrosine catabolism. The enzyme that catalyzes phenylalanine to tyrosine is phenylalanine hydroxylase. Tyrosine can enter the TCA cycle at fumarate. It must go through a series of reactions where it becomes homogentisic acid. With homogentisate oxidase, it is turned into malleal acetoacetic acid, then finally fumarate where it can enter. Tyrosine hydroxylase catalyzes tyrosine to dopa, requiring BH4. Tyrosinase catalyzes dopa to melanin. The deficiency of tyrosinase can thus lead to albinism. Dopa carboxylase catalyzes dopa to dopamine with B6. It is inhibited by the drug carbidopa. Dopamine releases the metabolite homovanillic acid, which can be used to test for dopamine levels. The vitamin C requiring dopamine beta hydroxylase converts dopamine to norepinephrine, and then SAM requiring phenylethanolamine and methyltransferase converts the norepinephrine to epinephrine. Both epinephrine and norepinephrine release the metabolite vanillomandelic acid. It is called this because it is an intermediate of the synthesis of artificial vanilla flavorings. It gets here by the same two enzymes, catecholomethyltransferase, or COMT for short. It turns norepinephrine into normetanephrine and epinephrine into metanephrine. The monoamine oxidase, or MOA, turns both of these into vanillomandelic acid. Levels of vanillomandelic acid can be used to detect neuroblastoma of the adrenal gland. A deficiency of phenylalanine hydroxylase causes PKU, or phenylketonuria, because phenylalanine can't be broken down, so it'll just stay in the blood. And a deficiency in homogentisate oxidase results in alkaptonuria, a condition in which homogentisic acid builds up in the body. And finally, norepinephrine's conversion into epinephrine by phenylethanolamine and methyltransferase is stimulated by cortisol. That's all for this lesson of Step 1 Review. We'll see you in the next video.